Alrighty then, hello everybody and welcome to the stream. Happy Thursday, I hope you're all doing well on this wonderful evening, or afternoon, or morning. I don't know where you're from, but hopefully it is nice and warm, or cold, or however you like it over there. My name is Felgarth Candle, the Candle VTuber, and today, um, bit of a... Bit of a, a, a mess stream-wise, like I was supposed to stream at 5... But then we were going to do something with friends, but then it got postponed. Then I was going to play some Deep Rock Galactic. But then my friend was like, oh, you should play this game. I was like, you know what? I should play this game that you got me. So I'm, I'm doing that. <laughs> so I'm playing uh, The Case of the Golden Idol, a uh, point-and-click adventure. I'm going in 100% blind. Uh, I don't know what the story's about. I don't know, like, any of the puzzles, any of the things. And he wanted me. There is a setting uh, in the game where you can uh, turn the imported... I um, the highlights of the important objects on or off. So I've turned them off. So I'm going to be 100% blind. I'm going to go off my big brain alone. Help. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Hopefully it goes well. We'll see. Uh, but I, I always loved point and click adventure games. So hopefully it goes well. Um, and uh, I don't think I have much else to say other than let's just hop right into it. There we go. So, the case of the... Oh, shit. Game's too big. Uh... Wait. What? There's the... Wait. Game. There we go. Shit. There, that's better. Boop. Not really an adventure, but you'll see not it's not an adventure. I mean, technically this the genre of the game is called a point and click adventure game, right? So uh just gotta resize this properly. Alright, and the tap a few taps that way. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, new game. Uh no highlights, so. Okay, so it's like little dot things I see. Okay, so no highlights. That's how it goes. An abrupt termination of contract. Oh. Okay, so... He's being pushed. He's got a letter. January 5th, 1742. 
both parties agree to the terms for the expedition to Monkey Paw Island. Albert Clausley has rights to two thirds of all valuables for funding the expedition. Oberon Geller has rights to one third of all valuables and any gold statues found for providing the map to the expedition site. Uh, so we have Dr. O'Barian Geller and Albert Cloudsley, and I can click on these. Okay, so I'm collecting evidence, it seems. So I'm exploring. Cool. So a scalpel. Cool. I have a map. Uh, this clue has been added to the thinking panel. Okay. We have the Bay of Shadows. Uh, Horn of Thumb. Horn of Finger. Ruins of Xenopolis. Uh, uh, move your mouse over the worst. Yeah. So it's point and click investigation game. Okay. So once you've clicked on something... You can't click on it again. Okay, good to know. And then, what's this? A bottle of medicine. It's like... Oh! Dang, he shook! So we, we got a pipe. We have a dagger. And... January 5th, 1742. Wait a minute. So it's the same day, the same thing. Okay, both parties agree to these terms. Okay, that's the same. Albert Clausley has the right to two thirds of the other. Okay. O'Baron Geller has the right to one third of all valuables. Go search for providing the map to the expedition site. So it seems to be the same contract. There's a gun here. Oh, okay. So we we got tobacco. Oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to close that. Okay. We have two bags filled with coins of gems. So okay, that's a pipe cleaner. That's what that is. It's a big delay. A bag of medicine, medical instruments, and some medicine. Okay. Gold statue. More gems. Uh, okay. So I can't click any of that. Okay, let's leave that. Can't check the tent. So... Dr. O'Barian Geller. Geller has one third in the gold session. So that's the doctor's bag, this one. So if I do... That, okay, that does nothing. Doesn't look like I can grab any... Okay, it says 11 out of 11 here. So let's go to the thinking tab. Uh... Oh, I see. Camp in the... Okay. So who's the okay he since he has the pipe and he has the pipe cleaner he's not the doctor so again it's O'Baron Geller is the doctor okay so you are O'Baron Geller so uh Berian Geller and you are Albert Cloudsley okay uh, when a scroll is completed, fill in words can be dragged directly from slots. Okay. So, Albert, Clausley pushed O'Barian, Geller, uh, from a cliff in the... Okay, so I, I need to find out where they are. Okay, so... Where are they? Are they in the ruins of Xenopolis? Cause if you take a look. Okay, so um, he's the one that had the map. Okay, so seeing two things here, are they in the Bay of Shadows or are they in the ruins themselves? Okay, so there are two islands there. Um, oh, hello, Victoire Margot. How are you doing? Uh, I'll check you out. Not a problem. Uh, how are you doing on this fine Thursday evening? I hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, and I'm sorry about ads. Uh, I, I, 
I try to like minimize them. I trying to 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 like just work around them, but I I I don't know how they work yet. So so are they? So camp would be. It could be the bay, honestly, just because there's water there. So let's go to thinking again. Would it be the Bay of Shadows? No, because no, if they're in the Bay of Shadows, they don't see those two, so they're in the ruins. Camp is in the ruins of Xenopolis. Uh, okay, so they're not there. So that's wrong. So are they in the Bay of Shadows then? Bay of Shadows. Two or fewer slots are incorrect. Horn of Finger? Two or fewer slots. Okay. Horn of Thumb? Okay, so Horn of Thumb. Okay, so... That's what it was. So the scroll has been fulfilled. No hints uh, access. While Dr. Barry and Geller was surveying the poor weather with his looking glass, his expedition partner, Albert Cloudsley Esquire, or ESQ, I, I'm pretty sure that's Esquire, suddenly pushed him off the cliff. All right, so that's the first scenario. Okay, so there are three scenarios for now. So this one, we, we got it all. Let's do scenario two, okay. Chapter 1, Complications in the Family, The Untimely Passing of a Rural Gentleman. Alright, quite, quite a few things. Okay, we have a mask over here, we have a ma- oh! He is dead, he's got a ring. A ring with a ruby. So, head wound, so that's a, a clue. We have a jacket here. Uh, has been added to the thinking panel, okay. So, there's a device there, muddy. Uh, we are August 23rd, a day after my birthday. A clue has been added to the panel. Why is there a dot here? There's a dot of red on the painting. Could be blood, but I don't see any other blood splatter anywhere else. Let's take a look. I saw a yacht is slowly. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry about that. A yacht is slowly floating in the river. Okay. Oh, we have a golden statue. Is it the same golden statue we saw in the previous one? We have a book here. Henry Clover Lead Poisoning. Okay. We have a desk. Spontaneous combustion. I, Sebastian Clausley. Okay, we got another Clausley. Where share my humble con contribution to the science of anatomy and chemistry. Okay. Nothing else here. Okay, there's another book. August 26th. Oh, hey, that's my birthday. <laughs> August 22nd, 1786. So we're quite a few years after the previous incident. Uh, woke up a beautiful day, washed and dressed in my dining attire. By the way, it is 1786 and he's got like... A very precise time, so he is fucking rich <laughs> to be able to have like access to time, especially if like well in this day it's a beautiful day, so he might just have a sundial. But I'm pretty sure he probably just has like a working clock somewhere. Uh washed and dressed in my dining attire, had a beautiful roast duck for lunch, changed to my hunting attire. Oh, hunting. Okay, so he went hunting on the twenty second. Road to hunt badgers. Had no luck today and returned home changed to my researching attire uh changed to my dining attire okay so he's got different types of uh attire i had a tasty beef loin for supper filled in my diary and went to bed to continue reading for my research okay so that's that we have a tall rickety ladder we're missing four things apparently so blood trail that's just the golden statue again. Can I click? Okay, there's a horse in the yard. Okay, I have to time that. Oh, there's a map here. Okay, we have 
Blackfield, Crow Tower, and Woodshire. So that is everything in the Exploring tab. So let's go to the Thinking tab. So this, I mean, we only have uh, Sebastian Cloudsley. It is our only... Uh, we have uh, the Dining Attire, which is in blue. Uh, we have the Hunting Attire, which is probably in that. And this is the Research. Oh. So that's the oh, cause yeah, I guess it does go hunting that so hunting attire. Uh when a scroll is completely filled, horse can be dragged directly from the slots. Yeah. So he has passed away. Uh Lord of Oh shit, what he's the Lord of Where, actually I didn't see that. You need a third monitor? I also need a third monitor. I also need like a new desk. I want like a whole new like desk setup, honestly. Right, let's go back to the exploring. So probably Blackfield is where he's from. Let's check the uh special contribution to chemistry and science. Well, then I can know there's a lake here, so or a river, so yeah, Blacksfield. So he's probably uh, Blackfield. Uh, the cause of death, which was a head wound. Oh, and he fell from a ladder while he was. Researching. Um... Well, mm, I guess it wasn't a head wound. Uh, while he was hunting, possibly. No. Uh, fell from a like ladder for sure. I'm pretty sure it's research. No, he wasn't researching. Uh, let's go back to exploring. Let's check his diary again. And continue reading for my research. Okay, so he was researching. He has a head wound. The man is not breathing. His head is badly wounded. He's got a ruby ring. Hmm. Uh. I'm pretty sure that's that. Uh, the cause of death was a. I'm pretty sure it's head wound, but it says two or fewer, so it might be that he's not that, and he's like the source not filled correctly. Okay, so no, he is two or fewer incorrect. Okay. He's in the hunting. So it was while he was hunting, I guess. Two or fewer slots. He's in his hunting attire. So he fell off the horse then. Okay. So while the Lord of Blackfield was hunting, his horse threw him off and he suffered a death. Okay, then again, yeah. Because today was the 23rd, not the 22nd, so... I guess it was just kind of a... Oh, hello. Hi. Who are you? What's going on? Sebastian Klausley, he died. Age 53. Okay. Uh, this was to introduce uh, red herrings. Oh, red herrings, of course. Okay. Complications of the family. The dramatic departure of an outsider. Alright, so he's spontaneously combusting. 
You look important. Who are you? What are the blazes? August Jockey Club. That is a J. That is not an F. Fucking Focky Club. Uh, uh, race, win, place, show, wager, 35 pounds. So none of this is helpful to me. One of the blazes. Okay, you're not helpful. Uh, he's on fire. He's got a, a scorched knife and a scorched horse brush. So he's, I guess he's a jockey then. There's a dagger here. There's some wood there. Damn fucky club. <laughs> what about you? Oh, you also have a knife. And you have... Astonishing Monkey Man property of Hair Brothers. Okay. Spare me, devil. I was simply following orders. <laughs> Okay, good to know. These, these guys look pretty fucking chill about all this. Let's see, what about you? Oh, that fucking gold idol again. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. They also got the ruby ring. Now, if, it, if it's all the same to you, I will take my leave. Okay, so you've got one pound, two sh shillings, and two pence. Spontaneous combustion again. To perform the combustion trick, you must first cast a freezing spell. The sacred glyphs for the combustion... Oh, yes. Idle. Okay, freezing spell. I thought I saw something I could grab. So, upside down J, O, and that thing. So, if I go that, so... So, he casts the combustion... The sacred list for combustion on the idol. Okay. What about you? Hmm, interesting. Uh, Ashbearer, finest tobacco. So he's got tobacco, so he's a smoker. Prepare the carriage for tomorrow. We are visiting my nephew, EC. Okay. He's got two shillings and a penny. He also has a... He has a dagger, not a knife. Okay, and a saddlebag. Interesting, okay. There are 26 things and I've found nothing so far. Oh, wait, I can move. I see. Hmm, an ex unexpected turn of events. Hmm, yes, yes, EC. So, he's that guy's employer. He also has a stiletto blade, okay. Dear Edmund, okay, Edmund is him. I have reached my attention. It has reached my attention that you are seeking a capable, a capable, blah, 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 blah. You should carry cigars. Uh, a capable new servant. Uh, I have just a man for you, David Gorin. So that guy's David Gorin, possibly is a an experienced coachman with a diverse set of talents that I am sure you will find very useful. If you are displeased with the services, uh, do not hesitate to let me know. Yours, Theo, and I can't get Theo's name. He's got three pounds and three shillings. Oh no, I don't want to close that. And a note here, London Gazette, Monday, September 7th, 1786. Just a few years after the death of the other guy. Lord Edmund Cloudsley. Okay, so another Cloudsley. Speech serves Parliament. Okay. So, Edmund Crowley. Uh, Cloudsley. Uh, don't think there's anything else I can grab here. Uh, where's the... He had the ticket, right? The 35 pounds... Three Raging Sultan is the name of the horse. Uh oh, dragon thing. Okay, so let's move on over in here. Batley Clausley. Okay, so they're in the the Batley estate, according to that emblem. Clausley is that. Uh, what's this? Fat Lord pair. Twins. Okay, the pair twins. We do have them. A and J. Okay. Nothing else I can grab here. Uh, who are you, madam? My apologies. You can be so here sometimes. Uh, she's got six rings with various stones. Uh, four pounds. I think she's got a bit more than four pounds on her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, a fan. An ornate guitar blade? What the fuck are you doing with a guitar blade? I think she's like secretly an assassin. <laughs> the fuck? 
possibly Indian? I, I think this is like an Indian blade. Uh, Shamal Bot. Simasana Basiri. Yeah, I think this is clearly Indian. So portrait missing here. This whole room is in disarray. A lot of wine bottles. Uh, this clue has been added to the panel. I bequeath you the gold idol is an office. You will know what to do with it. I can't, I can't like rearrange them. Okay. The clue has been added to the panel. My late sister, your mother disclosed your financial troubles to me long and I am resolved to help you. I bequeath you. Uh, complication of my aphorism to clearly lock section life. So, okay. Dear Willard Wright. Okay. Rose Cudbert. Uh, this goes mad. We met so rarely after you left, therefore I bequeath you blah blah blah, the black fan colonies, okay. Fifty pounds on spinny uh, spinning jenny, another uh Sebastian Cloudsley. So we have another Cloudsley here. Uh Dear brother Edmund, okay, so nominate Nicholas Maker as ex uh, execution executor of my last will and testament. Okay. Uh, dear Peter Batley, uh, we have sent you frequent reminders concerning the settlement of your debt, and yet to date the debt remains unpaid. We humbly request that you make your payments as soon as possible, or we will be forced to take the matter into our own hands. The debt currently stands at. 255 pounds. Blackguard and Buck Loans. Okay. I don't see anything else here that could be relevant. Uh, this journal. A form is by Sebastian Clausley. Happy, how to be happy, eat a hearty meal each day, and do not waste your time on trivialities. So the Clausleys seem to be doctors or people of science. How to avoid being upset, try for that which holds meaning, and do not shirk from responsibility. Uh, how to be inspired. Take a walk in your forest and breathe fresh air. No! I don't want to go for a walk. You can't tell me what to do. How to avoid being scared. Feeling scared is a weakness. Be strong instead. That is baloney. Uh, I would not have expected one of your family to treat a legal document in such a way. I am appalled. So he's got two shillings and three pence. Another ruby ring. I, I, I don't want to close that. Oh boy, family tree. All right, reading the last will and testament of Sebastian Cloudsley, September 7th. Uh, so Sebastian was a guy from the last one. Uh, so we have Rose Cubbert, which uh, married... Edmund, it would seem. Peter Batley, Beatrix Batley married. Oh, no, no, wait. Wait, what? Uh, Mary Clousley and Albert Clousley. Huh. Okay. Nicholas Maker, attorney. Okay, so that's Nicholas Maker right here. So I'm still missing six things. So, she would possibly be, again, Beatrix Batley, or... Oh, you have a plan? Okay. That's still her. Peter Batley, we have him. Dr. Emmond, Nicholas Maker, we have him. Willard Wright, Rose Cubbert. 
Okay. Can I go somewhere else? Let's see. Because I'm still missing six things, it would seem. Uh, what would I be missing? Uh, I was simply... So you're one of the, 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 the pair brothers. Seeing A here. And this one, I'm seeing J, a scorched knife. So this is the, the other pair brother. Scoring to this. A and J, pair of twins. They're twins. Uh, they each have a knife. Uh, so, okay. On the blazes. Um... Uh, prepare the carriage where to visit my nephew. Hmm. So I'm guessing... Since, oh wait, there we go. Uh, sables for Adam and James. There we go. That's two horse grooming, sable cleaning. They, okay, they, they do three. Okay. So they were stable boys. And do it properly, you lazy oafs. Okay. So I'm missing four things now. Uh, I'm going to set up your Mac as the third monitor. All right, um, what would I be missing? Coals, shovel, letters. Batley, Klausley, Cubert. Uh, let's make her attorney. Six rings of stones, four pounds, a fan. Huh, what are the four things I'd be missing? Well, I guess if we go to the thinking, it could give me an idea. Okay, so we know who these two guys are, so that's... Uh, so he had A, so that's Adam Pear, and uh, this is James Pear. Uh, that's, uh, the, uh, the fucking lawyer. Oh, fuck, it just, oh, wait, there, there is a, okay, I see, I see what I'm missing. It's one of the notes. So which one did I not read? There we go. Add to the panel. Research. There we go. Uh, back to the thinking. Okay, so let's get all the names. So, uh, what was the name of the attorney again? It was Nicholas Maker. So, thinking... That is Nicholas Maker. Where are you, Nicholas? Nicholas Maker. Uh, that is... Uh, um, David Gorin. So... David Gorin. Uh, that is Edmund Cloudsley. Guessing she's also a Cloudsley. What was her first name? Was or was it Rose Cubbert? Uh, and this guy. Uh, uh, I don't have a name for him. I think. I don't know who these two would be. Okay, so... Edmund Rose. 
Sebastian, which is the one that's dead. We have Willard Wright, Peter Batley, and Beatrix Batley. Beatrix is not important. Mary's not important. Uh, okay. So Peter Batley will be married to Beatrice. Okay, let's go back here. So, uh, my late sister, your mother disclosed your financial troubles to me long ago and I resolved to help you. I bequeath you uh, something compilation of my uh, to provide the direction in your life, which... So this is addressed to uh, Beatrix. Right? To Beatrix Batley. Or Rose Cupboard. Okay, it's probably Rose at that point. Okay. So this is Rose Cupboard. Okay, so Rose Cupboard. Uh so who have, so this guy who has the idol is whoever this is addressed to. Uh he's probably a Cloudsley, quite honestly. So let's put Cloudsley here. Well, then again, the, that means he's... Wait, is he? Because Edmund is that guy. Willard Wright. So who's Willard Wright then? Well, the, okay, so it's not necessarily that, so... Uh, we met so rarely after you left for the colonies, therefore I bequeath you my savings land and the Blackfield uh, Manor House. Come home and establish a museum of my life accomplishments. Uh, therefore I bequeath you the notes for my research I have undertaken on astronomy. I grant you leave. Okay. So he's not necessarily a Cloudsley. Okay, so he died of... S this is James Pear. So what am I missing? Reading the last Old Testament, Sebastian Cloudsley. So he's a Tessit. So when he's talking about his sister, he's talking about either Rose or Beatrix, but Beatrix isn't there. Peter Batley, Four Inheritors, Willard Wright. So, I don't know who Willard Wright is. So, Wig. So... She's not Rose, then, I think. Is she? Spontaneous Confirmation. First cast a Freezing Spell. One of the blazes, okay. Simply following orders. Pair of brothers, astonishing monkey man. EC. Uh, Prepare the carriage, we're taking. We are to visit my nephew, EC, okay. Huh. So one of these two guys is Willard Wright. Uh Easy the notes research. Huh. And who is Peter Batley at that point? Peter Batley is married to Beatrix. Okay. So... Uh, therefore, I'll with you my savings. Uh, I want you to put sharp mine in. We're... Oh, wait! 
politics, mayor, um, go back here. He had a paper and it was Lord Edmund's closely speech first parliament. So Edmund is politics. So thinking, so politics, this is for Edmund. Okay. Uh, Edmund Clausley. Um, so I'm guessing this would be Willard then. Willard Wright. Associate. And then left for the colonies would be Peter Batley then. Incorrect slots. Fudge shickle sticks. So th maybe swap these two. Willard, this, this is Willard. And this is Peter Batley? No. Because I know this one's correct, and this one has to be correct. Unless... I don't have any other female names. The only one I have is Rose Cupboard, so this has to be correct. Um, Left for the Colonies. Let's see if I'm at least right with this. So is this guy Willard Wright? Uh, and... Peter Batley. Okay, so I have the identity of everyone correct. Perfect. I know this one is Sebastian's will, because Sebastian's the one that died. Okay. I bequeath you the golden idol of Sinopolis. You will know what to do with it. So is that Willard Wright? And left for the colonies. Who left for the colonies? Is it whoever married Rose? Because again, she's been traveling and that's Rose. So who did Rose marry? Married, but it doesn't say to whom. It's not Peter Batley, though. Oldest man. So shit, Peter Batley. Huh. Uh. Something was to receive the, uh, was to receive, but well, it was. Oh wait, that's Sebastian Plowsley. Will and ordered blah blah Anna to the, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the idol from Willard Wright. Uh, well, it was. Inspired to know it. Hmm. Two or fewer slots are correct. Okay, so this this is for roses then. 
My late sister, your mother. Oh, that's not for Rose. My late sister, your mother. Oh, I misread that. Okay, so back to the... My late sister, your mother. So this is to, to, to Peter. Oh, okay, that's for Peter. Ah, okay, so this one is Peter Batley. Peter Batley. There we go. Okay. So now just this. So who was... Was to receive blank was blank to receive blank in Sebastian Klausley's will and ordered blank blank and blank blank to take the idol from Willard Wright. Uh, uh guessing Adam and James pair. Uh Inspired. Uh, what makes you think he died from a spontaneous combustion? I'm sure it's from dehydration. Uh, probably because the idol has a spell for that, apparently. So, who is in debt? Is it Edmund Cloudsley? Uh, scroll is filled incorrectly. Oh, no, wait, he ordered David Gorin and Adam J. Pear. Uh, him being unfair does mean he died from fire. Maybe someone shot him beforehand. True, I am missing technically three clues. Let's take a look at, at him. So he's burning, crackling, horse brush. So I'm missing some stuff. Freezing spell. He definitely is set on fire. I'm pretty sure he died from it. Uh... But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm missing something somewhere, but I don't know what. David Gorman, Coachman. Yours, Theo. I don't know who Theo is. Stiletto Blade. The London Gazette. Adam James, the Rota, horse grooming, stable cleaning. Do properly lazy oaths. I'm missing something, but I don't know what. What am I missing? Oh, happy! I'll be happy, apparently, okay. Upset. Inspired. Scared. Okay, I have everything. Okay. Uh, Emil was happy to receive uh Research Sebastian Claus's will. Uh, sword is feet. I tried clicking on the sword, but okay, so Scared. 
I know. Upset to get research in his will and ordered these two. Uh. Huh. Well, the yeah, the aphorism. I think we have a definition somewhere um, here. Actually, I think we had it in the previous thing, or is it here? Aphorisms by Sebastian Claudio. Okay, yeah, we had it in the the previous one. Uh. Simply following or orders, so he did order. He ordered these guys. EC, so yeah, he ordered these guys to do something. That's Edmund. Uh, set to re receive research in Sebastian Clausley's will. Uh Yeah, he was upset. That, that's the the one I, I have. Uh take the house. From Peter Batley. Huh. Because you know Edmund's the one that's pissed. He was upset to receive research in Sebastian Cloudley's will and ordered, I'm definitely, definitely sure David Gorin. So we know James Pear died from spontaneous combustion. That's for sure. Take the. Pretty sure it's the idol, and if it's the idol, it's got to be Willard Wright. So. James, no. Uh, I think I might take a hint. Uh. No. No. That's not where you find the hints. Hint. Have you made a typo? Have you considered the all the evidence of your re, -re in your acceptance? Uh Oh, I don't have any hints unlocked. But if you insist for each hint you want to earn, you will have to complete a small task. Earn a hint. Drag the phrases onto the matching pictures. So harp. Dagger. Uh, paint pot. Paint pot. Saw. Ink pot. Pipe. Tar. Fan. Scalpel. Flask, tankard, watch. Uh, go to hint selection. Uh, who inherited what the situation in the yard? Situation in the yard, I guess. How do you know that? Let's 
Try the freezes. Yeah, you know what? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna earn it. Let's. So I have everything. So I just need to get these people. Okay, so David Gorin is at least one of them. Uh, the. Did he ask his brother to do it? No. Suddenly James Pear died from spontaneous commitment. That, that, that's good. I'm pretty sure this is good. It's really these parts that I'm kind of hesitating on. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll take another hint. Budget. Access hints. Earn a hint. Uh, fan, Kniff, Tanker, this was Tanker, I think, right? Pipe, uh, Paint Pot, Guitar, Watch, Harp, Dagger, Flask, Scalpel, Ink Pot. So, who on here? What? The identities of the inheritor, the identities of the other people. I know who all the people are. Uh, I think this one might help me. Consider the dear friend, master of the house, two servants who conduct regular chores. There's also a coachman who serves them. A politician for the more legal professional has been invited to read the will. Okay, so I, I have that. That doesn't help me. Uh... Hmm. Or is it that they want to take the house from Peter Batley? Because Peter Batley got the house. So they asked David Gorin and James Pear? No. Adam Pear. No. Uh, Willard Wright? No, it does make sense. He uh, he was upset to receive research because in the will, uh, I want to put your sharp mind to better use uh, the mere politics. I therefore bequeath you the notes of my research I have undertaken on astronomy. Uh, I grant you leave to finish and publish it under both our names. So Edmund did uh, receive research. That has to be correct. Um... So order David Gorin and someone else to do something. So Willard Wright is here, he's holding on to the idol, he's pointing it at him. He was following orders, according to this, so uh he would be the logical conclusion to the other person. But to steal what? Want to put your sharp mind to better use the mere politics? Because, look, uh, Edmund Clusley was the one that was upset to receive... We you think it's this? Aphorisms? That he, he got that in the will and not the research? 
And then he asked that, and Adam Pear, I'm pretty sure Adam Pear is the other one, and I'm guessing it's the, it has to be the idol from Willard Wright. But it's not that. James Pear died from spontaneous combustion, that's pretty much it. So it's not the idol, so it's the house from Peter Batley. It's not the house. Uh, uh, maybe the research, seal the research from no, uh. So he he's the one that got the research. Uh, wait. Wait, what? What am I waiting on? So the one on fire is a pair, and the other is a pair. Wait, wait. So one of the uh, the one on fire is a pair. Yeah, that's James Pear's one that's on fire. The other one is a pair, and it's also was following an order. Yeah, Adam Pear was following an order. So they're both pairs. And so you think both brothers James so you think it's Adam Pear and James Pear, you think it's both Pear brothers. Just backfired for Pear, but again, if we take a look at the hints that we have uh, situation of the yard. Uh, I don't know. Not so sure. It's this one. There's also a coachman who now serves a politician. So that's one of the part of the. So we have the twins. Uh, we have uh, the coachman, and the coachman is um, this guy, and that guy is uh, David Gorin. So that's why I'm pretty sure David Gordon is, was, because again, like in the note, he, uh, not, not that note, uh, this note here, uh, a capable new servant, uh, just a man for you, David Gordon, is an experienced coachman with a diverse set of talents that I am sure you will find useful. Uh, if you are displeased with services, please do not let me know yours, Theo. So you want me to put, uh, both brothers? Okay, so let's put both brothers. James Pear and Adam Pear to seal the uh, idol from Wellard Wright. Two or fewer are wrong. Okay. All right. So I'm still saying that this is the research, not the F. Okay. So it is this. Uh. Maybe it's James Pear and David Gordon. Okay, no, it is Adam Pear. Take the house. No, it, it is the idol. So suddenly James Pear died from spawn is the cause of death from idle combustion. No. Spontaneous combustion. Okay. So who the first name? Oh, 
Oh, so you think that... No, this, this is James. That doesn't change anything. Uh, this is probably where the the hint comes in handy. Okay, no. So this is James. This is Pear. So this is spontaneous. That's combustion. Uh, so that is Sebastian. So you think Edmund's the one that's incorrect? Okay. So... Peter Batley. Peter Batley was the one that was mad. Okay. Two out of four hints that Peter Batley encumbered by his gambling debts. Oh, had placed high hopes on his uncle's testament upon discovering that he had inherited nothing but a book of uh, aphorisms. He tore it up at the will in order his service to take the golden statue from the stranger Willard. Uh, suddenly one of the servants burst into flames. Oh, okay. I didn't put, because, yeah. The, the fat lord, that's... Oh, and then the gambling. Ah, ah, ah. Then the gambling. Yeah, that makes sense now. Okay. Uh, return to scenario selection. Okay. Okay, now that's just that guy's death. Next chapter, okay. All right. Chapter two, the cursed inheritance, the murder of the little mermaid. Oh, <gasps> Ariel murdered someone? An empty bed, not warm, okay. Boots, a little portrait with a flower, okay, blue flower. Uh, a trapdoor in the ceiling. Again, we got 26 things up here. That goes downstairs. A door that does not open. Okay. We got a little widen. Revenge. R -r 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 -r. Okay. That guy's dead. So who do we got here? He does not look like that at all. Another ruby ring, a walking cane. Man is not breathing. Can, can I not like take a look at the fucking stab wounds? Uh, what's in this case? We have a watch to my dear Maurice. The watch is ticking. Oh, a music box. Kind of sounds like the French anthem, so... Got a washing bowl filled with bloody water. Uh, Dear Proud Beast Master, I have attended... Proud Beast Master, this sounds like someone's edgy fucking profile name. I've attended our departed brother's send-off and accepted the keepsake that he bestowed upon our brotherhood in his will. I shall send this letter tomorrow, September 10th. I hope you will it will reach you without delay. Already it is midnight. I will retire to my bed. For this has been a long day. May Griffin awake, Proud Beast initiate. So these are basically name they're like code names, I'm guessing. Okay. Can't see anything in the attic. can see night. Don't have anything about a calendar. Oh, window. Uh, what did that bugger give me? Why did that bugger give me a note when he knows I'm, well, I can't read? So, a shear. Piece of stale bread. 
you can lie low for a couple of days to the old Orman's place down at the docks. So this guy cannot read. The latch is locked. Nothing else here, it would seem. Okay. Well, this window. So this window is broken. There's a man here. Alarm, alarm, a break-in. Watchman number two, Henry Parker. A lantern and a spear. Uh, broken glass in the mud. Barrels. Don't see anything else up here. That note probably wasn't for the guy who can't read, but for someone who was supposed to find it. Maybe. Alright, there's a mermaid here. A narwhal. A boat. People partying. Let's take a look at the innkeep. Hello, Mr. Innkeep. Where did that blasted boy go? I really need a piss. He's got a knife. He's got a set of keys. A lemon. Dear Oscar Boyton. September 8th. Okay, so... This is probably because the notes that they, they were sending the, the letter on the 10th and that it was already midnight. So uh, I'm guessing September 9th. Uh, yeah, it's come to our attention that the good owner of the Little Mermaid offers services to those who want to transfer product that are less agreeable to the authorities. I will come by in three days if you still have some spare space in your gin barrels and you are willing to earn an extra money, reach out to me. Okay. All right, so what's on the menu? Tab, blah, 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 blah. green, bridge, and Blair. Okay. Wanted, Robert Riddeth, escaped conflict, ward 50 pounds. So that's the guy we saw that we can't read. Uh, he's got a fiddle, a violin, a key, and a Navaja folding blade. Oh, mother forgive me. I will never gamble with something so dear to me again. So he lost something in a gamble. Can't see that, can't see that, can't see that. Oh, it's the, the, the fucking guy from before. Just steal the next one. Uh, it's a lucky, it's all luck anyways. A hand of cards, three shillings, two pence, his dagger, key. Remember, uh, you as an agent of our trading company have to reflect its values to the fullest. Never be late. The client leaves the port on the 10th. Be persuasive. Do not take no for an answer. We must get the client's product. Be effective. Once you have the product, deliver it to me immediately with the servant boy. Most importantly, no matter what you do, be mindful of our reputations. Our names must remain spotless. Okay. Uh, what about her? What does she have? A hand of cards as well. A stiletto blade. Another key. Two pence and four shillings. Be calm, John. John, okay, we have John. He was perfect. Uh, he was a perfect gentleman. He bought me a drink and then retired upstairs. So the man upstairs is John, possibly. To Annie. So this is Annie, I'm guessing. You are beautiful like a rose. For you, I will take any blows. Annie, you are like a glass of wine. Your hair is very fine. Uh, I will find gold in a mine if you were... If it makes you forever mine, your piglet full of love. Okay. Tell me, what does that man have that I lack? You got a fucking small sword. That's fuck you got. Seven pence. What's on the table? This clue has been added to the panel. Okay, so we have a note. Two cards, glasses of wine. Candles. So what's on the note? A G W W. Uh, M E A G J B O B A G J B A B. Okay. Guessing the, these are the scores that people had in the, the, the hand. So we have John. We have Annie. So Annie has been winning, has played all the games so far. Uh, JB is John. 
Obius Oscar Boyton, which is this guy, I think. Uh, September 9th, Dandelion Room, Willard Wright. Okay, we have Willard Wright. Uh, and Ash Blair. Okay. So technically this could be Ash Blair. Uh, no, AG. Okay, so Ash Blair is here. AB, that's Ash Blair. Uh, the door is shut. With a latch. So I'm missing one clue. So Blair's that. Tab. What's the one thing that I'm missing? Might be upstairs, so I'm not seeing anything. Hmm, yeah, probably upstairs. Let's take a look. Revenge, RR. Uh, New Parker, Watchman, Spear. Break in, alarm, alarm. Oarsman. Bugger can't read. Maurice. Uh, what could it be that I'm missing on the table, possibly? So I'm not seeing anything here. Ash Blair, one night, forget me not room, dandelion room. Uh, door shut with a latch. Robert Fridith, RR. He's on the list for playing cards. Hmm. Don't see any other hands here. Huh. John Piglets, did a little -da -da. Annie, Annie. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Evan. All right, so that's what I was missing. Okay. Go to thinking. Okay, so he's Robert Riddith. We know that. Rob R Robert Riddith. Uh... So I think he's John. She's Annie G. Annie G. So Annie G. G, which was green, I'm guessing. It's only. Wait, does that mean. Oh, it's the tab. Okay, so, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought this was like a menu. It's like, okay, so. I see, I see, I see. So, Annie Green. So, so this guy is John. 
John B. JB. Uh, we know who this guy is. That was uh, Henry Parker, I think, right? Henry Parker. It's JB Boyton, and then this is Oscar Boyton, I think. Oscar Boyton. Uh, this is Evans. M. Evans. Maurice Evans, I think. Um, and we have Willard Wright. And then this guy who went upstairs. Uh, JB's Jack Black, yes. Uh, Amazing Evans musical performance, September 9th. Okay, so we are September 9th. Uh, okay, so that's not helping. Uh, dear Annie, blah, blah. John, so this guy's John. Oscar Boyton. This guy's Oscar, yeah. So it's the guy that's dead that I'm trying to figure out his name. Willard Wright, One Night, Ash Blair, One Night. Ash Blair, that's his name. Uh, Ash Blair, so Ash Blair, uh, that's Blair. Okay, um, I'm pretty sure he's Evans, though. Chaos and fuck, man. Um, unless if. There we go. He's using a pseudonym, and this was Willard Wright from the last one, okay. So, there are many empty slots. So, AG, uh, Annie Green. Green, Annie Green, Annie Green. Uh, Willard Wright here. Maurice Evans. Uh, JB John Brayridge and Oscar Boyton. Uh, then this was John Brayridge again and Ash Blair. Okay, so someone grabbed into things room through the window while okay so these two are playing so Annie Green John Bridge and Ash Blair so Annie Green John Bridge and Ash Blair were playing cards with loud music uh fighting suit upstairs and weathered right got stabbed with a shear, I'm guessing? Ah, uh, no, uh, it wasn't his room. Uh, who had the room? It was... Forget me not room, the dandelion room. Okay, so... Dandelion room, so this was Ash Blair's room. So, Ash Blair's room. 
And Robert Riddus? No. I don't remember who had that, but it wasn't it? Uh, uh, no, uh, Maurice Evans, yeah. He, he's the one who has the violin. M amazing Evans musical performance. Alright, so let's go out here. So is this Sheer bloody? Sheer's not bloody. But he was stabbed. He wrote Revenge, RR. So RR is that guy. So, I think you can't read might be. But again, it might not be all of these guys. It could be. See Oscar Boyton. What if he's being framed because he doesn't know how to read? Could be that he crept through the uh, the trap door. Could be the trap door. Uh, the room is still the dandelion's room. Let's actually just show, yeah. So this is the dandelion room here. So dandelion room is... Oh, wait, no, it's Will it is Willard Wright. Okay, so that's a mistake on my part. So uh, Willard Wright's rooms. Through the trapdoor. So it doesn't have to be Robert Riddeth, though. Because like you said, he could be framed. Uh, so it could be Ash Blair. Uh, through the window? There's no way he writes Revenge RR, he can't read, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Fight ensued and Willard Wright got stabbed with. Uh, what did he have as a weapon? He had a dagger. Dagger? Uh. Okay, I got it, okay. That's the only thing missing. Uh, the scroll has been fulfilled. No hints access. A man going by the name of Ash Blair crept into Willard's room through the trap door to steal something important. But when he opened the music box, it woke Willard up and the fight ensued. Uh, in the fracas, Ash stabbed Willard and attempted to frame an escaped convict. Ah. Let's watch a little video. Good morning, Innkeeper. I hear a man was murdered here a week ago. I, a deranged convict, did it to him. Now bugger off. Tell me more about the evening when Willard Wright died. I'm willing to make it worth your while. Hmm. Okay. All right, so before we go on to the next one, I'm just going to take a quick break, refill my water and all that. So be right back.
Okay. Back to the game we go. All right. Uh, an intoxicating dinner party. Okay, we got a little boy here. I'm sh uh, these sure are some fine coats, and he's got. Why does this child have a cigar? And a note, little pip. Run to the city and grab me some Ash Blair tobacco and a bottle of gin. Uh, I will pay you when I am back, David. Okay, so that's why he's got a cigar. So an Ash Blair cigar, I see. I got a statue with a syringe inside. Liquid still left in it. Okay. So there's a syringe in there. Uh, coat pocket, apparently. Uh, a box of cigars. A few notes. Okay. Dear Mary, here's something for your diary from me. For you, I would fight a tiger and win Peter Batley. 1788, March 5th. Okay. Dear Ms. Richards, I enjoyed your company tremendously when I visited your father last month. I'm certain that you will wish to hear the rest of my thoughts on the shortcomings of our society. I invite you and your father to dinner on April 8th at my manor, Sincerely, Edmund. Okay, Edmund's back. And this was, what, March 1st? This was March 5th. Okay. So it is past the 5th, I'm guessing. So we can head upstairs. I'm not seeing anything else here. Let's go upstairs first. Oh! Shit's going down here. Okay. Let's take a look at the table. Uh, clues been added to the panel. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to have to figure out who was seated where. So there's a uh, partly glass of clear liquid. Clear liquid. Glass full of cloudy liquid untouched. Uh, yellow liquid. Red liquid. Red liquid, red liquid, cloudy liquid partly, okay. Salad, salad untouched, a uh, piece of roast, salad, roast. Oh, and what's this? Amber liquid. Oh, and a cigar. Okay. This is horrible. And she has that. Okay. Uh, oh, there's Edmund. He's got a gold key and a blue key. It's poison. Nobody touch a thing and nobody move. I'll send for a doctor right away. Uh, old man. She does seem rather unwell. It's extremely upsetting. And he's got four pounds and a shilling. So this is the victim. Oh no, it's Peter's wife. She has five rings now though, instead of six. The lady has uh, not breathed her face is, oh no, the, the lady's not breathing and her face is botched, okay. And there's Peter. You killed my aunt. Aunt, you devil, I shall execute you on the spot. Pack of cards, two pounds, and a fork. Oh my lord, this has nothing to do with me. He has the same keys as Edmund. He's got one shilling, an additional small key. Note to self, if you get frustrated when working, remember the tale of the rich lord who married his donkey, and you will feel better. Okay, Peter, ensure that the beautiful lady sits next to me during dinner and I will slip you a shilling and he's got a shilling so no for the beautiful lady to sit next to him who's got a couple of shillings let's see he's got four pounds and a shilling so I'm guessing he's probably the one who made the note uh what's over this way a clue has been added to the panel okay so there's a two bedrooms uh, we have some toys. Once your target has ingested the love potion, establish eye contact and hold it for as long as possible. 
In most cases, the effects will be felt within two days, depending on your own appearances. Okay, so a bunch of voodoo dolls. So it was a love potion. Okay. Four shillings and a penny. EC. Uh, I will not change the rule that the staff member who has worked here the longest gets the bottom room. Uh, do not bother with such nonsense again. EC. So this this person is the person who's been working here the longest. A knife. And the laceless count. Uh, the besmirched lover of Leticia. So is this is the, the the story that he was talking about. So this is probably the old man's room, the, the old servant. There's nothing in here. We have a note here. Remember to take the fourth one from every row. The fourth one from every row. So are these candles then, I'm guessing? Star Child by Raulo Katu. Ink Pot. Okay. Door is locked. Door is locked. Okay, you can go up and down. Oh, wait. Uh, the longest will have the bottom room. So when they say bottom room, do they mean bottom, bottom room? Paint pot. Down with parasites. Too long. They have feasted on our blood and sweat. Okay. April 7th. Dear Diary, this has been an ordinarily most uh, day mostly spent in preparation for tomorrow's dinner event. I... Okay, so we're the 8th of April. I do believe the time has come for me to ask for a raise in salary after all these years I have loyally worked here. It is a difficult conversation to be had, but I will strengthen my will and talk to Master about it tomorrow. The wise slay fables about rulers to make you think... One pound and two shillings. Stack of candles and ink pot. Nothing else here. A window that we can't look out of. The door is locked. This door is also locked. And here we have a set of keys. Some ash blair tobacco. A pistol and a dagger. And a little note here. David, clean up the barn until Wednesday. I plan to continue experimenting with the artifact EC. Okay. Of course, I can give you some candles for your room, Lucia. I assume you are itching to continue reading that scandalous novel. Dear Ada, March 4th, okay. I have to use this letter to share good news. There is no substance to the claims that you that your late husband has used his position to squander church money. The judge has decided to remove all accusations. And you will be no longer the, a target of baseless gossip. I truly and sincerely hope that this will provide some comfort in these dark times when ignorance and impudence uh, go hand in hand. May our Lord steward over our poor souls. Okay, so Lucia. So Lucia's room does not have candles. So if we find a room with no candles, that is Lucia's room. So... Not seeing any candles in this room. Nor in this room. But this one does. But reading a scandalous novel. Star Child doesn't look like a scandalous novel. The Laceless Count. So this one looks scandalous. So I'm guessing this is Lucia's room. This one here. Okay. So let's go back down here. There's nothing else on this side. Up here we have a small bed, kind of, so we have a mattress with a watch, some pennies, a handkerchief, and a little bottle of something. It's a little pipe. Is that a pipe? A small bottle filled with amber liquid. Amber liquid. Oh, these are keys. Looks like he was going to make a double of a key. Monkey Man 2, tooth for tooth. Monkey Man 1 versus the striped dark hand. Because this is a red herring monkey man. 
Nothing in here. Takes me back to the bed. No, here, Mrs. Smith, two eggs and a pot of tea each breakfast. No heavy food for dinner. You are responsible for little Pip uh, doing all his errands. Miss Walker, uh, Mr. Walker, uh, I am to be woken up and dressed at 7 a.m. I expect to receive my daily newspaper by noon. Uh, Mrs. Baker, I expect all my rooms to be cleaned every day, twice on the days I have visitors. Uh, David Gorin's job requires that he may arrive or leave during night. No complaining about this EC. Okay. So this has a little... Oh, we've got brandy and wine. Okay, and that's in that. To Mrs. Smith for three years of service, a little, little, cow, little cow pot. Thank you, dear. No, I threw it out. I do not read such dirty literature anymore. I do hope our master's guests are satisfied and that Brian served everything as instructed. So we have a little key here, a little key here. The dinner party will take place on April 8th. Okay, so that's today's date. Everything will be ready before noon. Uh, prepare a roast boar. Uh, young Ms. Richards appears not to enjoy meat, therefore prepare some alternative side dish. The door to the outside, not locked. So we have... Three uh, loaves of bread, some lemons, basket of potatoes, a sack of flour, some opaque bottles labeled water, big piece of meat, and some cut vegetables. Okay. Uh, that brings us to her. She says she threw away the book. But I don't believe it. So I think that's everything here. So let's go back upstairs. Uh, tonic. Two labels... Epic tonic. Due to the sensitivity of our stomach, I advise obtaining from alcohol for the next month. Also consider a glass of peptic tonic before eating to avoid upsetting your digestive system, okay? And then we have opium here, okay. Green safe, we got the idol here and a sack of gold. Quite a few things, okay. Uh, Mrs. Baker, starting date, uh, August 1st, position housemaid, yearly wage, nine pounds. Yearly? Oof. Rough. Dear Edmund, uh, this cannot continue since my return to and move to Sebastian's Manor. He has asked for financial support seven times. Uh, he clearly is unable to take on any monetary responsibility. Please, I need your help. My dear brother, Cecily Rose Kubert. Uh, Rose, again, dear Edmund, I like your idea. Let's send him a to colonies where he is. His friendly nature will make him feel at home. Uh, I hear you having dinner with Lady Mary and her well-to-do father, Lothar. If Peter and I are to join you, we could beguile him with the tales of adventures in the colonies. Uh, so we can ship him away, Rose. Okay. Okay, I don't know what I'd be missing. Up here. Uh, it's horrible. Beautiful lady, embroidered handkerchief. Uh, Peter. Am I missing something? Doctor 
Okay, so such trivial chippers, uh, blah, blah, blah. Money has the amount of it has evolved to chain. Okay, so. Secret codes. Uh, sure, only the first letter of every line are such regarding word, every note. Money has changed hands. Okay. Easy to decode. Okay, a note. This since Sebastian's for he might okay, no. Dear I colonies will I Lady Lothar you tell since rose cupboard. Okay, so we need to find something which will have a secret message. Oh, uh, well, well, Edmund, uh, you seem pleased. Okay, so we have George Bridges here. Seem pretty pleased about the old boy passed away and a spot freed up for you in his house of lords. Take care of those with whom you ally. I have many friends and will deal with you swiftly if you dare cross me, Lorge. Okay. The revolution will come for you, the likes of you, you crooked bastards. Soon you will pay for your sins against honest common folk with your blood. Final Vanguard. The for you soon, your common blood. Final no. Okay, so it's not that. That's not one. Uh, once more, I have failed to answer our requisition. This is the last warning you will receive. Your transgressions against us demand amends. Uh, the only course of actions you have is to surrender yourself to our justice. Last chance for a repentance, serpent. Serpent? I oh, know. Uh, or you'll, uh, or we will unleash one of our stewards upon you, Brotherhood of Masks. Once our warning, uh, Edmund, once our warning, your amends, the two lasts, or upon, bro okay, no. Okay, we have Peter Batley. Uh, dear uncle, uh, I heard you are interested in Lady Richards. I think you are too old for her. I shall court her instead. Secondly, please lend me 300 pounds. It is small change to you, and I am pleased to uh, desperately need of that of the present to yours, Peter Batley. Okay, so none of these seem to have a secret note in it. Uh, I that work for, no, okay. Once interested poison, contact as in effects with independent appearance, no. Okay. David Clean Wednesday, I okay, no. No. I there you said okay, no. The April everything, no. Uh two no okay, no. Huh. I tremendously father, I no okay no. No. No 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 no. Huh. Uh, I deal with prohibitions to Utopia, right structure. Uh huh. Okay. So there's two books here. Oh, wait. There's a string here. What the heck? Aha! A bag with keys. 
I did not see that. It's the same things that this kid has. Tooth for tooth. Uh-huh. Hmm. I wonder what else there could be. Let's do this. Mrs. Smith for three years of service. Okay. I have the wine, I have the brandy. Okay, I'm not missing anything in here. So that's strange. A little bit of liquid left. Okay, in here. Aha! There we go. I think that's what I'm missing. Water. Salad bowl, brandy, wine. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So this is little Pip. Is that much we know? Um, that's uh, Peter Batley and his wife is the one that died. Don't remember what her name was. Um, so that is Edmund, because that's the same guy, so Edmund Cloudsley. Uh, so I know one of these is Ada, one of them is Lucia. So let's go back to exploring. Uh, so downstairs, so, nope. Uh, dear Ada, okay, so she is Ada. So this one is Ada. This one is Ada. Uh, so that means this is Lucia. She started, of course, room Lucia. Uh, so Smith. Three years of service. Uh, uh, we have Baker, starting date eighty eight. So I'm guessing Lucia's the new one because it is. So, Ada, shit, Ada Smith, okay, thinking, Ada Smith, Smith, that means Lucia Baker, uh, I guess this is Lil Pip's room. Here. Uh, so I'm then guessing Lucia's upstairs. So this should be Lucia's room here. So Lucia Baker. So the oldest one is him. I don't remember what his name is. So let's take a look here if we have... Uh... 
Uh, Peter slipped a note to have the beautiful living sitting next to him. Okay. Uh, Okay. Take the fourth one from every row. Take the fourth one from every row. Fourth one from every row. I'm guessing this is again for the decoding, the secret codes. Starchild. Fourth one from every row. Uh, I will not change the rules. Okay, uh, change member. No, okay, it's not that. Fourth one from every row. Uh, one, two, three, N, in, no, it's not that either. Mr. Walker, okay, so he's Walker, that's his name. The, the old man. Let's go to thinking again. So you are Walker, Mr. Walker. What's your first name? Probably... Okay. Hmm. Do I have a way of finding out his surname? Uh, Peter Batley. Uh, please, boy, breed, lords. No, okay, it's not this one. The come of no final vanguard. George Bridge. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of information in this one. This one's actually pretty rough. Okay. Um. So many names. Um, what was uh, her name? I think it's Mary. Mary something, right? Mary Batley, I think. Um, so young lady, uh, let's see, David, we go see little Pip, he has a note from David, little Pip from the city, bring me some Ashbur tobacco and a bottle of gin, I will pay you back when I'm back, David. So, this is David's room. David, clean up the barn on Wednesday. Okay, so this is David's room. So, David goes here. So, is there another male? Is it David Walker then? Because 
We have Lucia, then we have... Actually, no, we're missing a servant. Guessing Mr. Walker's the oldest servant. So who, who are we missing as a servant? Mrs. Baker, Sardaragus first, housemaid. Uh, so that's a servant. I don't believe this is a servant, especially seeing how rich he is. So... So who was coming to the dinner party? Uh, Sebastian Spanner, Rose Cuthbert. So is Rose the other young lady, I'm guessing? Uh, and her well to do Lothar. Okay, so Lothar is the old man then. Okay, so thinking, I'm guessing this is Lothar. Uh, uh, Lothar Badly? Because that would make sense. So that would be Rose here. Rose Cubert. No. Okay. Uh,. So, who is this lady? I don't think I have her name. So, his name not... Pretty sure his name is Walker. It's probably the oldest servant, but he's probably not David. Uh... There's five people here. One, two, three, four, five. But the only servants that I see are these four. So there's a servant that's there by name, but not in person. So I'm guessing... Yeah, okay. So... Okay, okay. Oh, this is fucking big brain here. Okay. Um, in this note, due to sensitivity, blah, blah, blah. Uh... Okay, no. That, that's just the idol. Uh, so, Mary. Uh, I do not know our master's guests are satisfied, and Brian served everything as... Okay, Brian. Okay, so that's Brian Walker. Okay. This is Brian Walker. Where is Brian? Brian Walker. Uh, let's go back to Rose Cubert. Too many... Lothar... Well, this wouldn't be George Bridges, would it? No, it's not George. But I'm pretty sure that's her father. So that'd be Lothar. So out of all with our Richards? No, where where'd the, the name Richards come from? So Richards would have been the beginning. Smith Walker Baker NB. NB. David Gordon's job requires that he may arrive uh or leave during the night. No complaining about this, so. David Gorin. Arrived during the night. And that's NB. 
We said, uh, and B and B. NB, NB. Okay, so do we have a name that starts with N? It doesn't look like it. So NB. I don't know what that means. Note biene, meaning take note that David Gor uh, David Gorin's job requires that he may arrive or leave during the night. So David Gorin, is that the? Butler we haven't heard about, so who's David Gorin? Lord Bridges, who's threatening him? Brotherhood of Masks. Uh one, two, three, four have. One, two, three is receive. One, two, three, us. Uh final van vanguard. Come, you bastard, for honest, your uh, well, do father. If Peter and I were to join you, we could beguile him with tail. Okay, so that that is Rose. Okay, so this is Rose. That is for sure, Rose. So Rose, Cubert. That is Rose. So Lothar. What is his last name? It's not Batley. Um, so I'm pretty sure Brian Walker here. Uh, David. Uh, so it'll be Ada Smith here. So David, David Richard, no, David. Okay, let's take a look back at the notes. So, Mrs. Baker, starting date August 1st, 17th century house mage, yearly wage. Okay, so Baker. Uh, uh, dinner product, uh, young Miss. R Richards appears to not enjoy meat. Young Ms. Richards. Young Miss Richards. So is she Ms. Richards? So that's not Rose. So Richards. 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 Young Ms. Richards. So what's her first name? So maybe it is Batley. Uh so let's take a look at this. So does not enjoy meat. Partially in cell, partially in cell. So there are three three people who Ate salad, one that didn't eat it. Person who had a cigar. It's David. David had a cigar. 
Gar. I'm guessing with a person there, because... Uh, this was very confusing. <laughs> Shit. This is super hard. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to take a hint. Access hints. Earn a hint. Uh, try the phrases. So, that's a knife. Uh, that's a fan. That's... That was Annie. Uh, that was Maurice. That was John. That's a scalpel. That's a paint pot. That's a tankard. That's a harp. That's an ink pot. That's a flask. That's a dagger. The living quarters. Uh, on a secret in a letter. I think the living quarters. Okay. Contemplate this, dear friend. The quarters uh, you see are for servants only. Someone uh, is who is small will sleep in a small bed. Okay, so that's a little pip. Uh, some may have worked here for more than three years. Uh, do not ask for something you already have. Book tastes vary, but can be telling. Okay, I'll take another hint. Uh, harp, fan, that's John, Maurice, ink pot, rose, pipe, Nicholas Walker, it's a watch, it's a flask, uh, Edmund and Peter, go to hint selection, uh, on a secret in a letter. Uh, imagine this, my friend. Someone might have informed uh, the poisoner in a cryptic manner. If you find someone whose quarters seem suspicious, I invite you to look out for secret codes. The instigator of the murder could have concealed their instructions in an innocent-looking text. Okay, so that did not help, actually. So, it's this bed here that looks suspicious. Every fourth word. Uh, has because yeah, here it says, no, uh, where was it? it says, will not change the rule, change member longest do not says, I that worked the for me, okay. Because where was the one that's like every fourth line? Uh, uh, remember to take the fourth one from every row. The fourth one from every row. This one doesn't have anything. The fourth one from every row. Change member. Fourth one. Is it the fourth letter, maybe? No. E E. No. One suggested potion. Contact as in effect within depending appearances. It's not helping me because we have a potion here. I have a knife. I think we can use up all the hints, honestly. Earn a hint. John, Edmund, Violin, Dagger, Rose, Scalpel, Flask, Fan, Maurice, Watch, Ink Pot, Tankard, go to hint selection. Uh, the means of access. Uh, a small question, dear friend. If you have. Identify the substance that contain uh, the poison you can consider where it was stored and who could have access to it. Different locks have different keys, and sometimes uh, one who should not have access to certain keys will still endeavor to procure them. Uh, saw, scalpel, fan, guitar, 
Kneife Jean Nicolas Inkpot Peter Flask Annie David Uh, general suggestion, dear friend, to find out what the victim consumed, you should work out where everyone was sitting. Some do not eat meat, some do not drink alcohol, and some requested to be seated next to a particular guest. Of course, not only the highborn are guests. Uh, no servant is welcome at the table. Be reasonable, my friend. Okay. So, the hints have not helped me much. Uh, an innocent sounding note. Wait, innocent sounding note. Uh, one, two, three. Use substance to remove target. Sincerely, Dark Hand Stewart. Okay. Use substance. Okay, so Ada's the killer. Ada killed him. Okay. So. So we know that Mary is just the spoiler. Okay, so Annie, uh, Ada Smith is the killer. Okay. So Okay. Miss Baker started in 87. It is 88. So, Miss Baker is the most recent one. So, the most recent is Miss Baker. Am I confusing their last names? Why did I say... That she was Smith, that she was... Uh... Rooms for a cancel, you see. I assume you are issued to continue the scandalous novel. Thank you, dear. No, I throw those. I don't know. Ryan served everything. Miss Richards does not like me. Okay, so this is Miss Richards. That's for sure Miss Richards. I'm pretty sure this is Lothar. Lothar's the father. This is Mr. Walker, for sure. So Brian Walker is what I said, Brian Walker. So... So where did Qbert come from? Not from one of the books, right? Uh Rose Qbert, okay, no, Rose Qbert. Uh Lady Mary and her will to do father Lothar. If Peter and I were to join you, we could beguile him with tales of adventures in the colony so we can ship him away. Did I fuck up? Is Rose the one that's dead? And this is Mary? That's Mary. It's Rose Cutley. Batley, I mean. No. Uh, 
That's Lothar. I'm pretty sure it's Batley. Uh, Mary Batley. And Rose. Sign Rose Cubert. They said her name was Richards. She's not breathing, her face is botched. She seems rather, uh, rather upsetting. Let's go to the blue key. Peter wants to sit with the beautiful lady. Uh, this coast sure are fine. David, Ash Blair, Tobacco, Little Pip, okay. Peter Batley, Dear Mary, uh, in your diary, Ms. Richards. Uh, I enjoyed your company to when I visited your father last month. Uh, so, oh, wait. So, her father. So, is he Lothar Richards, then? Thinking. So, Lothar Richards. Uh, Richards. And her first name, maybe... Oh, uh, I don't know what her first name is. Um... Stuart Richards? No. Uh, uh, Brian Bridges, Cubert. It's not Rose Richards, that much I know. So, is she his daughter? Exploring. Uh. I invite you and your father to dinner on April 8th. So that's Lo okay, so Lothar Richards and Ms. Richards. So I don't have anything for Mary's name. Nothing in these pockets. Uh Lady Mary and her well-to-do father, Lothar. Okay, so her first name is... Okay, so it is Mary Richards. Mary. Two and fewer are... There we go. I fucking knew it. Okay. So, Brian Walker is at the bottom. Uh, two or fewer. Okay, perfect. Now that I, I got the names right, like everything's uh, like just fucking okay. Okay. So, Peter wanted to be next to Mary. Uh, by the table. Mary does not eat meat, so she had to have one of the salads, but she's not the one that was smoking. So, sh let's just go back to the table. So, she had the salad. She didn't smoke, so it's not this one. So, I'm guessing it's this one, because she probably didn't drink uh, cloudy liquid. 
uh, which is probably Tonic. So she probably sat here. Uh, this was probably Whiskey. Okay, so Peter's sat here. So I guess this is Edmund. No, Edmund can't drink. So Edmund sat here at the head of the table. Peter sat here. This was Rose. Luthar and... Okay. I think I have it. So this was, of course, Lord of the House, uh, Edmund Cloudy. Uh, next to him was Mary Richards. Next to her was Peter Batley. In front of him was his Rose, Cubert. And next to that was Lothar Richards. Incorrect, fuck. Edmund can't drink, so he had water and his tonic, but he didn't touch his tonic. Um, pretty sure Batley sat there. Unless if Rose does smoke? Huh. Okay, so the five guests are these five. Okay. So the great okay, let's go check what the great tonic is again. So the gray tonic that he needs is peptic tonic. Uh, due to the sensitive of our stomach, I advise abstaining from alcohol for the next month so he doesn't drink alcohol, so that's Edmund, okay. Also consider a glass of peptitonic before eating to avoid upsetting your digestive system. So we take a look again at the table. Um, a salad untouched, but his peptitonic is also untouched. So this is wine. It's that. But who smokes cigars? The coat with the cigars. Uh, uh, next to... So possibly that is Peter, then? The one with the cigars. This is Peter here. So Peter is here with the cigar. So that would mean... Well, it can't be Peter. Pretty sure this is Edmund. Okay, so who is it that can't drink? Let's go back down here. Uh, no heavy foods for dinner. You're responsible for a little bit of doing all his errands. Two eggs. Okay. Uh, that doesn't help. Okay. Uh, everything as instructed. The dinner party will take place April. Everything should be ready before noon. Young Miss Richards appears to not enjoy meat, therefore prefers some sort of side dish. Side dish is the salad. So she didn't eat meat. Uh... So we have brandy and wine. Okay. Okay, so again... Unless if Mary is the one who f smokes cigars... Uh, 
up, side. So what's he got? Pair of cards. You killed my aunt, you devil. I should execute you on the spot. Uh, should we... Face is blotched. A product of a glass of yellow liquid. Because there's only wine and brandy. So, don't know what this yellow liquid is. So, I'm guessing if it's yellow liquid, this is probably Rose. Uh, not Rose, but Mary, who died. So, if it had a yellow liquid, this is the person who died, which was Rose Cubert, who died here. Edmund sat here. Uh, just to the, the top, no alcohol. Uh, which means... Peter possibly sat here. Mary sat here. Being the smoker, possibly. And Lothar sat here? No. No. He can't drink alcohol, so it can't be wine. This has to be Edmund here the at the, the helm. Uh shit. He had tonic. No. Oh boy. Okay, so if I go back to hints about the dining table, um, where everyone was sitting. Some don't eat meat, some don't drink alcohol, some have a request to be seated next to a particular guest. On the... there are... High, so no servants are welcome at the table. So unless if... Say one, two, three, four, five. No servants. Um... So I doubt he wasn't said it. No, he didn't. <sighs> Because Edmund has to have no alcohol. Unless... Mary is here. Uh, Lothar... Peter... And Rose? Incorrect. the only one that makes logical sense to me. But what am I missing? Okay, let's take a look at the, the, the note about not being able to drink alcohol for... Okay, sensitivity of our stomach. Buy the same from alcohol for the next month. Also consider a glass of peptic tonic before eating to avoid upsetting your digestive system. So again, if we go back here, uh, untouched salad, untouched uh, clouded liquid, which is the tonic. So all this is untouched and it's got water. This has to be Edmund. So if there's a salad, 
it is one of these two. So I'm guessing this has to be. Uh, it's like she doesn't eat meat. So that eliminates her to one of these two. But then there's the cigar here, parsley smoked cigar. Could be that the cigar was poisoned as well. But I don't actually have cigar as uh option. Oh uh, boy. So this has to be Edmund. This for sure is Edmund. So what if Mary is sitting here? Mary Richards. Rose. Oh boy, okay, got it, finally. All right. So someone wanted someone dead and thus uh, Ada Baker poisoned the, I'm guessing the tonic, uh, uh, the tonic, uh, necessary key in a bag. So someone wanted Edmund Klausley dead. Uh, and I'm guessing, uh, Rose ingested it and died. So, Darkhand Stewart. Yep, Darkhand Stewart wanted him. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, we got it after a while. Four out of four hints. Ah, uh, it's. Ada Baker received an encoded instruction from Darkhand Stewart to poison Edmund Clausley. She used her ability to move freely throughout the rooms while cleaning and made a copy of the key to the medicine cabinet. She used a syringe to poison a sealed peptic tonic bottle. However, during the party, Rose asked for a tonic and drank it first and died from poison. Ugh. That, that, that one took a while. Uh, we've been at it for two and a half hours. Uh, it is... 948 you know what if it doesn't take as long i might still do this last one just to finish the chapter i think i want to finish the chapter so let's do that an explosion events in the forest cabin okay burke uh burke and work house got a oh uh, a little book henchman for hire in timbrook region billy cracker from the oakwood ad he's a brawler and a robber we got hardy abe from Berkman, he's a brawler and has a cart. Little Billy. Uh, Hobbs Gang's burglar enters through chimneys and Jack Nails, Timberbrook Inn, burglar picklock. Got some candies and we got various hats. Uh, we got a Hans. A little Hans there. Let's see if there's anything else here, is there? Just a satchel. And in we go. Is that Ada again? Oh no, that's um, Lucia. Ah, uh, by the gods, what is that? Gentleman robber strikes in Westbrook, September 15th. So just a couple of months later. The infant to Walter Keane with a number of unarmed associates helped, uh, held up a coach. Uh, Southern Road lead by uh, the scoundrel robbed the passengers of all their valuables, kissed a young lady, then left. This is already the fifth robbery by the infamous gentleman who, ha who, as is his custom, appeared wearing an impeccable suit and a new hat in the latest city style. The reward for catching him has increased to 100 pounds. Okay. So... It's little Pip. Go, coin, go. So coin is the dog. Hello, coin. Uh, this man has died. Oh my god, finally he's dead. Uh, he's got a pistol, loaded, uh, five shillings and three pence, and one of the old workhouse geezers croaked yesterday. Uh, I will arrange for a cart to move the corpse if you send me directions, and we'll be back before the, you bury him. Uh, I do not want to get, dig up that stiff. So EC, again, uh, I forgot his name, Edmund 
uh, Clouds Field or whatever. I do not care what, uh, by what means you use to acquire what I need, but remember the to be strict, uh, discreet. As always, note that I do not want to be decayed. Uh, the more recent it is, but note that I do not want it to decayed. The more recently it has died, the better easy. Okay. Man breathing, but appears to have lost consciousness, so he's still alive. We have a coffin with Scarecrow. Okay. Just be sure. Little note here. Everyone, you are not to visit any village or city without my permission. At any point, you may disclose the location of the cabin. Mr. David Gorin. Okay, we heard about him earlier. You are in charge of all security and arms. Mrs. Lucia Smith, from last time, you will be... You will taste any food you cook before it is presented to me. Little Pip. Uh, you are in charge of Black Bestia and Golden Bloon. Both must be fed daily. And Mint Cloudsley. So Golden Bloom is probably that dog there. Coin. Because Golden Bloom... So this guy, he's got a short sword, a ring, candy, and a pistol. He's going, ah. Nothing here. Let's keep going here. Oh my gosh, what the heck? There's the golden idol. A uh, small weight is tied and pulled down to the lever at the back of the idol. Okay. He's got a club. Uh, he's got keys, a saw, another loaded pistol, uh, WK, do we have WK? Walter Keen. I finally have the location of my target, meet us in November 10th, Friday, in the Timberbrook Inn, and bring all your tools, you get your shares agreed. A uh, rotten apple and a green apple, okay. <laughs> Okay. Hello, sir. So that's probably Edmund. He's got... This clue has been added, so we got vacuum. This simple, uh, this simply will not work. After I aimed at the seal vessel and activated the idol, both air and vessel disappeared. Upon further consideration, it was an obvious mistake. Vacuum version 2. Attempted with an input and it was a definite improvement. The decreased uh, it decreased the amount of air, but curiously still did not create a complete vacuum in the seal vessel. Gold filtering. Uh, the target must contain some gold for it to work. Seawater is suitable target, for example. However, a great deal of seawater. Why can't I grab that one? Not that one. Would be required for this to yield any significant amount. Perhaps I should try it on a ship in the open sea. First step, get gold by aiming at target. Second step, aim it at the empty vessel to retrieve it. Okay. Uh, unknown effect. Uh, if the implications of this are what I surmise, this could be a tremendous discovery. The next step is to progress from fruit to some more advanced organic matter. I must ask David to fetch me a dead body for further experiments. This is vi uh, vitally urgent. Spontaneous combustion. Uh, we saw that before. You need to freeze it first. Uh, interesting. The, sp the speed at which the heat is increased appears to be influenced by how strongly I press the trigger and how long I have performed that before it. Freezing. Uh, freezing the target rapidly can create curious side effects. For instance, I should be careful when freezing water in a sealed bottle, it exploded and the glass shards flew everywhere. Okay, I'm guessing that's what happened here. Safety notice. Upon pulling the trigger, if you uh, if the glyph input is meaningful, the idol will perform the intended action on the target it can see. If the eye is red, uh, ready for the that input. If turned by ever, if the eye is blue, perform that. Okay. So the idol is now blue. Had a wait. So it's doing the freezing curse according to... 
So it was this one. No, it's not doing the freezing, it's doing the vacuum. According to this. Okay. Okay. Am I missing anything? Vase shards. Uh, the door. The door broke open. Okay, so let's... Okay, so the door broke open, so they... They kicked open the door, okay. Oh, he's got nails on his hand. I would have missed that. He's got a club. Gold statue. Okay, so I'm not missing anything in here, it would seem. Here, am I missing anything? Don't believe I am. Okay, little Pip has nothing on him. Coin has nothing on her. He has nothing. Short sword. I'm still missing two things apparently. I don't see what. Note, nothing. Saw. Wait. Pistol loaded. Air, decrease, air. Seawater. Oh, gold! I didn't get the gold thing, okay. Uh, unknown effect. Matter. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, so that's coin, which is the balloon. Uh, gold and balloon. That's him. That is... Well, that's a little pip here. Little... Pip. Uh, mm, just like a gentleman, that's Walter Keane. Older man is Ed Edmund Cloudsley. Uh, the guy in the air, Nails. I don't remember what his name is. Jack Nails. Um... Lucia Smith. Um, David Gorin. Which leaves him to be... Party Abe? Yes. Okay. I don't know what these are, so... Okay, let's go back to the book. You can turn off. Okay, so this Okay. Gold filtering. So increase decrease or um Okay. Hmm. So, Edmund closely needed a corpse. Um, okay. 
So we have one Hardy Abe and Jack Nails uh, enter the room. The vase exploded and killed them both. Uh, the amount of water and a sealed vase. Uh, increase the amount of water in a sealed vase, so I'm guessing this is back to Edmund at this point. Edmund Cloudsley. So shot David Gorin. So... Uh, Edmund Cloudsley needed a corpse. Uh, something something along with accomplices delivered a coffin. So, let's go outside. So, who was it that was outside? Birkin Workhouse. Billy Cracker. Along with accomplices delivered a coffin. So it was a Walter Keen. Along with some accomplices delivered a upon a ring. No, Walter Keen. Shot. So this is Walter Keen, so. Uh Hardy Abe. Let's go back to so is his pistol empty? A loaded pistol, no. So who's got an empty pistol? Loaded pistol. Does not have a pistol. Does have a pistol loaded. A pistol loaded. So everyone's got a loaded pistol. Who does not have a loaded pistol though? So who shot him? Who does not have a loaded pistol? Okay. Oh no, he didn't. Sh uh, clubbed. So who has the club? Hardy Abe. Clubbed David Grant. Okay, he wasn't shot. Everyone has a loaded pistol. Um, uh, so now is it again David Gorin here? No, it's not David Gorin. It's a Walter Keen that goes here now. Okay, Walter Keen does go there. Okay. Uh, the vase exploded. Did he, uh, increase... Uh, oh, maybe the heat, not the water. Heat. Okay. Hmm. In a sealed vase. He... Decreased the amount of... Air and a sealed vase. Because again, if I go back to exploring, back to the book, um, because the statue is currently on vacuum, so that's so he's decreasing something, right? He's on vacuum two. Uh, the decrease the amount of air. But curiously still did not create a complete vacuum in the sealed vessel. 
Increase error means a lot of pressure when boom. Okay. So yeah, you probably increase the amount of error, you're right. Uh, not decrease, so... Increase. Okay, so that... Finish it! <laughs> okay! Uh, to gain entrance to Emmons, uh, Klaus' secret fortress cabin, gentleman robber Walter Keane pretended to deliver a corpse to Emmons for his experiments. On entering the cabin, the robbers ambushed the servants and Edmund locked himself in his study while the robbers were sawing through the lock. Edmund prepared a trap with the idol that killed two of the intruders. Okay. So, technically, so this is... Uh, increase, decrease, uh, this should be air, I'm guessing. Uh, um, this should be heat, I believe. Okay, no, heat is circle or that, okay. Uh, heat. Matter? Two are incorrect. No. So that's heat. Matter. Swatter? Uh, it's air. So this one's possibly not matter. Uh, gold. This is air. Uh, so this one's wrong. Okay. So this is gold. Uh. That was air. Heat. Matter. Okay, so this one is wrong. Water. Uh. Let's see if I just put like shot and decrease. So that means these two are wrong, okay. Um, I have no way of knowing which one's correct, though. Here's the seat. Right? Exploring. Uh, uh, and the seal activated both air and the vessel disappeared. So that's probably matter, this one, then. The circle is matter, then. There we go. Everything is filled correctly. Can I look at the statue again? I mean, I did uh, solve it, so I saw that late. Statue, it's got a weight of 16 pounds. Uh, 16 ounces, probably, actually. There you go. Hey, it's because I was I was on I was on bra brain time. I was on brain time, but anyways, I th think with that, let's see. Uh, um, I'm basically done. So there we go. Oh, we can see the little video. Then, Sir Coroner, the bandits accidentally set off my master's laboratory chemical ingredients. What happened afterwards? 
I managed to fend the rest off, but my master Lord Edmund Clausley got caught in the blast which severely disfigured him, as, and soon afterwards he died, bless his soul. <gasps> so he possibly found the secrets to de-aging himself, which was something that he uh, kind of mentioned, like hinted at. Uh, the past three hours aren't helping my case. What brain? How dare you? I am very... Look, my brain is so big, okay? So big that, like, it stretches out and becomes smooth. So I have a big, smooth brain. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. Where you go? Swoop back over here. And why is Spotify not playing? There we go. All right, let's find someone to raid at this hour. Let's see. Who could we raid? Who could we raid? A lot of people online. Who could we raid? Uh, how about we go to someone we haven't raided in quite a while? Um. So they're doing just chatting. Oh, they haven't been online for a while. They're, okay, they're doing a little IRL drawing. Okay, let's raid them. So we're going to raid uh, Hori Seiza. Uh, slash raid. Hori Seiza. They're doing some IRL drawing. Like I said, drawing on pen and paper, which no one does anymore. Um, to make sure I wrote that properly. Yes. So, with that, I thank everyone who joined me in here today. I hope you all had a wonderful evening. Uh, next stream will be on Sunday. So, thank you again, and have a good evening. Bye!